okay when you're meditating. You're providing a good place for the mind to gain insight. You're creating all the conditions, and then you wait, ask questions, and sometimes some insights will come and sometimes they won't. But at least you've got the right conditions. So that if an insight comes, it really does take root, and it can seep into your whole body and mind. When we work with the breath, it's almost like we're tenderizing the body and the mind. So we're more able to pick up influences, of, especially the insights that come. Because what, after all, you're looking for? You're looking for your own stupidity, and nobody likes to see his or her own stupidity. And so even though we tell ourselves we'd like to get insight, there's a part of it that resists. And so to overcome that resistance, you have to tenderize it. Think of the breath coming in, soothing and dissolving away any tension, any tightness, any blockage. And that'll have an impact on the mind. The mind will be a lot more at ease, in a much better mood. You're living in a body that's not quite so tight and tense and confining. So when an insight comes out about things you've been doing that were unskillful, and you're, you're more willing to accept them, whatever the insights have to say. And in accepting them, that's when things make a difference in the mind. An insight can come, but if you're resisting it, it doesn't have that much meaning, it doesn't have that much impact. So as you're sitting here with the breath, think of yourself as tenderizing the body, tenderizing the mind, so that when the insights come, you'll be willing to take them on, you'll be willing to absorb them in. And that's when they can have a really beneficial impact on you and on your actions, which means it has a beneficial impact on the people around you as well.